from Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. Oh, God. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I am your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. This story comes from a newspaper in Scotland called The Scotsman. <laughs> yes. And uh, here is the uh, the title of the piece. It's called... Should women still be treated as ladies? Or is that simply courting disaster? Here's the piece. Helping a lady on with her coat is recommended. Ordering her dinner is not a good idea, while going Dutch is a definite no-no. What man talks like that? But That's a no-no. <laughs> That's a definite no-no. I feel gay just reading it off the page. Not that there's anything wrong with that. And don't even think about canceling a date by text message. I just don't show up. <laughs> text message is a little too much courtesy for my taste. That's some of the advice in a new etiquette guide from Debrett's called Manners for Men, which claims to have all the answers for bewildered males who can't work out the rules of the modern dating game. Who's writing these rules, by the way? The Age of Chivalry says its author E. Jane Dixon is dead. Don't you love women whose first name is an initial... I think they're all pre-ops, every one of them. That's my opinion. <laughs> if you, your first day was an initial, you, you are definitely a man in a woman's body. That's how I see it. But now, says the author of this piece, it's time to reclaim gentlemanly behavior as, quote, manners with a sexy edge. Excuse me while I gag. So are today's young men really so confused that they no longer know how to court a woman without getting an open door slammed in their face? Aren't good manners for everyone? And can you really learn them from a book? De Bretz, apparently in Scotland, is uh, referred to here as the semi-official word on society matters for over a century, and it says here that obviously they think there's a market. They commissioned a poll which found that 63% of British women say good manners are the most important factor in choosing a new partner. Who's looking for a partner? I just want to bang away. But... The piece continues with our casual society, theoretical equality in the workplace, and awareness that the old codes came with repressive, sexist limitations. Do women still want to be treated like ladies? Oh, of course they do. Yes, they do. Oh, yeah. That doesn't mean it's in a man's best interest to do that. The author of the piece goes on to say that a hastily convened focus group of some female friends came up with a number of opinions. Now, these are quotes from the friends. I think manners are extremely sexy. Being mannerly means putting the other person first and acknowledging that they exist. Who doesn't like to be treated like that, said one. Well, that's true, but why do we have manners books only for men? 
I mean, women these days swear like sailors, have a sense of of entitlement. They they they're a bunch of big fat princesses who think that we should do everything for them. I mean, come on. How about a book for women? No, no. It's men who need to be mannerly. It's men who need to to treat uh, women like uh, they belong first. And acknowledging that they exist, you know, when I crack your legs open and I slide right in, i got to tell you something. You're going to know you exist. You don't need me to take your coat off and pull your chair out. <laughs> tell you right now. Yes. Other friends point out some men can take things too far. Another friend said, what I find really freaky is when men try to order for me. My sister's husband tried to do this for me when the three of us went out for dinner. I thought he was joking at first, but I told him it was okay. I'm perfectly capable of speaking to a waiter. Yes, but most women take too long to order, which is why I don't even like going to dinner with women, frankly. You never want to give a woman a big menu. You know the biggest mistake I made? Going to uh, Jerry's Famous Deli, which is opposite the Beverly Center here in Los Angeles, and there's one in Studio City. I took a woman there to dinner. Yeah, it was like late night. I, I, actually, I think it was the one in Studio City, and we'd gone bowling. A nice, cheap date. And then uh, you go to Jerry's Deli, a nice, cheap follow-up. But the menu at Jerry's Deli is so long. There are so many items on the menu that the menu actually folds over in the middle like it starts to bend because when you open it, like the page is too long. I mean, they've got everything, every kind of pastrami sandwich and salami, and they've got fish, and they've got knishes, and they've got pickles, and they've got 8,000 items on the menu. Oh, my God. Just wake me when you're done ordering. Are you? I like taking chicks to places where there's five items on the menu, like In-N-Out Burger, for example. <laughs> Do you want a single or a double-double? Would you like a Coke or a Diet Coke? Fries, done. <laughs> no sitting around going, I don't know if I want the wild boar sausage or the chorizo. I'm not sure. Oh, the sushi. Do they make sushi? Do you have California rolls? Do you have spicy tuna rolls? Do you have squid? Can I get that with wasabi? Oh, Jesus, save me. I, that's why I think ordering for a woman is a good idea. Just say, oh, look, just tell me what you want and I'll order it for you. Step it up. Oh, look, I'm just here so I can get laid, all right? So just, we'll just order something and get the F out of here. The piece continues and says, some women know exactly what they do and don't like. Another pal reckoned, I'd be a bit freaked out if a man stood up just because I entered a room. But if he was sitting and I was standing when someone introduced us, him standing up to say hello would make a good impression. I really don't care about making a good impression on your friends. I want to make an impression on your mattress. You understand, dear? She says, holding the door open is a must. As is letting... By the way, you're supposed to let her go first, and you're supposed to hold the door open for her. That's great. As is letting me choose and take my seat first at a table. Arriving on time wherever we're meeting, ideally slightly early, because leaving a lady sitting on her own in a bar is very poor form. And understanding that when you tell a girl you'll call them in a couple of days, she thinks that means two days, not seven. I don't think I really expect a man's manners to be any different to mine. Oh, yes, you do. Yes, you do. Why should you take the seat first? Why should you get the best view? Why should you go first through the door? Why should I hold the door open for you? To indicate that somehow, because you've got a vagina, you are superior to me, and that I'm going to have to bow down to you in order to get access to it? No, thanks. 
the story goes on, but uh, look, I think you have enough of the flavor of it to understand what we're talking about here. A book teaching men how to have manners. I don't think men need manners. Men need to get laid. We need to do it and waste as little time as possible. The age of chivalry is done. And uh, th this idea of trying to dress it up as something else, calling it manners or anything else, outrageous. The bottom line here is that there are double standards, even here, and it means that uh, men should have better manners than women. And uh, my attitude about it is, you know what, <laughs> this is why I recommend not even going to dinner with women if you can avoid it. Just have a couple of drinks and hook up, that's it. I mean, do men really need to learn manners? Should men have better manners? Should men be chivalrous in an age when women are such bitches? Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The advice, dump that bitch, is a little harsh and rude. I don't care. I am harsh and rude. The Tom Likas Show. Tom, do women deserve to be treated in a special manner? More manners? Chivalry? Huh? Sean on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how are you doing today? Great. Good, good. You know, I agree with you on, uh, you know, women being bitches nowadays, um, especially American women. But I want to ask you, um, do the rules change for foreign women who are, you know, from other countries? Is, do the rules change at all? Which rules? Like opening car doors and, you know, buying them flowers and, you know, being being a nice guy. Well, even then, I, I think you need to take that very slowly. Right. I think if you're dating Latin women in the long run, uh, there's a certain amount of that, but they pay you back in spades. I mean, uh, Latin women, I have found, they cook meals. Yeah. They help you pack your bags when you're leaving town, which I frequently am. Back massages when you don't even ask for Whatever it. you want. Exactly. So when somebody treats you like that, you don't mind treating them. But, but, but again, then you're not treating them in a special manner. You're treating them in kind. Right. You see, what American women want is they want to be bitches, and then they want you to massage them for three hours. Yeah, and then no massages in return. Oh, and not only that, you know, people get 90 bucks an hour to do a massage. Yeah, have you ever met a woman who, 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 when you massage her, ever, ever feels any relief from the way you're doing it or doesn't find a way to criticize the way you're doing it? Oh, yeah, they, they bitch because you're not massaging the right spot. Right. And by the way, that's just a big filibuster to avoid having sex with you. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, yeah. First, I need a massage. And by the way, anytime it's first, I need a massage, I'm done. You're out right done. there? I'm done. Right. I'm done. Oh, first, you need a massage. That means you have no interest in sex. What, what am I doing here? <laughs> yeah, no, I've, I was in a long relationship uh, before I started listening to you. You know, I got out of it, and uh, I've been getting... More ass in a toilet seat, but now I met a girl. She's from another country and beautiful. And what I, country you know, I is wanna, she from? I want to do these nice things for her. You what know? What country is she from? Brazil. Does she treat you like that? Yeah, I mean, I'm just hanging out with her. She'll start massaging me and just really nice, really sensual. I, I mean, so I mean, I haven't gotten that from any American women lately. So, oh, don't uh, don't hold your breath on that. <laughs> no, I won't. I won't. I think this one might be a keeper, but I just wanted to ask you if, if the rules change for foreign women. You... Well, again, um, I, I believe you can't go wrong in treating somebody the way they treat you. Okay. But American women uh, will treat you like crap and then expect you to treat them like a princess. Right, right. And so my attitude about it is I fight fire with fire. Yep, exactly, huh? Of course. Oh. Well, great. I've been wanting to talk to you about this, about the uh, foreign women here. So, Great. Well, Tom, can you take me out uh, Kobe style? Of course I can. Yes, I certainly can. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. 
She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. This is Theo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How are you doing? Great. Yeah, first time, long time. And uh, I must agree on this uh, double standard kind of thing. Women always say, uh, you know, where's all the uh, good guys gone and the shivery kind of thing. But then uh, that's back in the days where they want to be treated like the way the women were treated back in the days. Right, but, but they don't want to treat you the way women treated men back in the days, like doing your laundry or making your lunch for you. Yeah, they, they expect us to do all the things, and then what they just do, sit there? Yeah, and then they say things like, what am I, your slave? <laughs> then So that makes us the slave then. Huh? What am I, your slave? And by the way, I'm going to need about two hours of massage before you kiss me tonight. That. Because you're my slave. Hmm. And also the thing about opening door and ordering meals. If they have the ability to order the meals, don't they have the ability to uh, open the doors? Good question. And then it's just like so many different codes that they have to, uh, that actually they know that the man has to live by. It's just, uh, I don't know. I find that ridiculous. No, I agree with you. Yep, that's all I wanted to say, Tom. Can you take me out old school? Here you go. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is John on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. John, how you, I mean, Tom, how you doing, John? Doing great. Great, great. Uh, yeah, no, I agree with you. I treat people, even men and women, I treat them the way that I like to be treated, and I haven't pretty much gone wrong with that. Um, one common is, though, that this book sounds like probably the worst thing since uh, Cosmo, you know? <laughs> Oh, yes. And by the way, won't you love that when women start giving it as a gift? Here you go, honey. Merry Christmas. It's like, will you sit down and take this quiz? You know, it's like, I don't want to oh, take this quiz. Oh, and they come at you with, like, Glamour Magazine or Cosmo. Come on, honey. We're going to take a quiz. Yeah. How well do you know your partner? Come on. We're going to take a quiz. on. Oh, God, kill me. Just just freaking hang me, you know, from the from the highest tree. Come on. Let's go. Yeah, I mean, I was supposed to go out on a couple of dates recently with some women, and it's funny because they seem to uh, like to uh, cancel with text messages, yet that's one of their rules that we can't do. Don't you hate those goddamn text messages, by the way? I do. You know? Always checking up on you? Or, or, you know, what they'll do is they'll text me, I'll text them back, and we'll talk via text, and then next week, I'll, you know, we'll text all week, and then they'll say, why don't you ever call me? Like, well, we just text. We've been talking through text, like... Okay, well, that's not enough now. I mean, well, then why don't you call me? Uh, you know what? I just uh, I just signed out from that. You know what I'm saying? I signed out from that. The, the constant texting and the phone calling and then the questions. Where are you? I sent you a text 15 seconds ago and you didn't respond. Are you chatting with somebody else? Yeah, I mean, I, just, I have no problem with, like I said, men or women, just bottom line, you just treat me the way you like to be treated. Don't expect anything. Or if you want to be equal... Then don't ask for equal and perks. <laughs> I agree with you. John, thank you for the call. Just got a very interesting email from a listener named DJ. DJ writes in and says, The company I consult with has a female in charge of HR. This place is so femme-centric, it's scary. But the thing that blew me away was learning that someone had been fired for listening to your show too loudly in the office. Yes, there are other people with their radios on, and many of them blaring bad music or that chick-chat crap. And, of course, none of them have been fired. I learned later that the reason was that your program causes gender insensitivity. Just thought you'd like to hear that you are hated by an entire herd of chunky, fugly chicks who only enjoy auto-stimulation since no self-respecting man will talk to them. Thanks, Dad. Signed, DJ. Love that. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. This is May on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? Great. 
I love your show, I have to say. My husband turned me in. You're doing a great job. Thank, <laughs> Thank you. you so much. Sure. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to comment on something, and uh, not because I'm a female now, I'm attacking my own, but uh, I found I'm not originally from here. I'm originally from Croatia. But I found that, um, and again, I hate to generalize, but I found that most American women, the most important thing for them is what the, how much money and what the guy drives. And what has he done for me lately? I, I really hate to generalize and say all women are like that because, as I said, women, for example, from my country and from some other foreign countries that have been raised differently and that appreciate men more are not exactly like that. But here I am, I don't know, I'm still in shock. I'm still recovering because I can't get over it. I know. It's like, I don't know. I mean, I hate to say this, but... Uh, and they're like, oh, yeah, well, he if he's not going to do this for me, I'm not going to do that for him. And if he's not going to uh, arrange this for me, I'm not going to put out. And, you know, he, I want this kind of a ring and I want that kind of a car. And I'm like, what? why? You know, why, why are these things important? But I'm just, as I said, I, we moved in. Um, because we because despite what they say, American women know what a business marriage really is. It's a business yeah, but if you want money, go out there and earn it yourself. You know, well, they are you earning do? it. They're earning it on their backs. <laughs> no, there are more respectable ways than the oldest profession. Mind you, I have nothing against prostitutes. Most American housewives that. are nothing but, but expensive hookers. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's like I, I, of, I often argue with people. I say, you know, how are you different than a paid hooker? And she's like, well, you know, I said, you have a ring on your finger. That's all. Because the bottom line is you want a refrigerator, then you're extra nice to your husband. Right. You want this specific, I don't know, whatever car, you're extra nice to your husband. When you don't, then you don't give him any. So what is poor guy to do? <laughs> exactly. I mean, uh, my husband loves you, and he's absolutely amazing. And I have to say, I know your attitude towards marriages, and I think I have hit the lottery, I have to say. Not all the people and not all the marriages are like that. He does have, like, this one-on-one or put like this. We signed a prenup, not because he listens to you, but because we both wanted to. And we have a very respectable relationship towards each other. But I don't feel that I do more or less for him. But he does exactly the same for me. So, But I don't think that all marriages are like that. I'm not saying mine is the greatest or whatever, and I'm not saying, wow, look, lucky me, you know. But um, I think a majority of marriages here are strictly what you said, a business contract. Yeah, well, uh, again, I, I do think that uh, there are some good marriages. Mm -hmm. But as I always say, there's also somebody on Saturday night who wins Lotto. <laughs> no, I, as I said, I feel like I have, but... You know, not ma not many people, but I think it's due to the fact that I show my husband how important he is primarily, and it's all about him. It has to be all about him if I'm going to make this work. So I think not a lot of women do that. I don't think they respect their husbands or their girl, their boyfriends or whatever fiancés or whatever they have going on, and it's I don't know. It's too much materialism. You don't do that massage thing with your husband, do you? <laughs> I have to be explicit now. Uh, we do a lot of stuff. I'm not talking about you know, massaging <laughs> down there. I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. No, but uh, we, we do a lot of stuff. We do all kinds of fun stuff. We I'm not going to have sex with you. Not like this. I married my husband, amongst other reasons, because he's the greatest in a sack that I've ever had. Really? So, <laughs> so if I need a massage prior to anything, uh, you know, I'd be stupid. But that's my <laughs> point. Massage. Women who ask for a massage, women who ask for a massage, are just killing time. You yeah. know, it's it's like women who try to distract their rapist. You know, it's like uh, yeah, yeah. Let's talk about you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, I just want to tell tell you, thank you so much. And there's so many guys. I'm sure you help, but. Thank you from us, the girls, because I think you need to put it out there and you need to say what it is and how it is. And finally, I was like, wow, somebody's there is enough to say that. Wow. How does he say that? You know, because mind you, I come from a different background and it's not common in my country for anybody to be so open. So I was like, wow. My husband was like, you have to listen to him. I was like, wow. And we do listen to you a lot. I love that. We do, too. We love you, too. Thank you, man. Good work. I appreciate the call. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM.
one 800 5800 866 Tom, you're amazing. I love you. Do you know that? I so love you. You are just, you are my strength. You are my everything. It's the Tom Likas Show. Tom, yes, a book coming out in the United Kingdom called Manners for Men. Oh, yeah, men need more manners. It's Lucy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? I'm doing fine. I just have a comment, um, well, a couple, really, real quick. Um, the lady that, you know, that was on just a little while ago, I kind of, you know, I was offended that, you know, just how she was saying women in America. I was born in California, but I was raised in Tennessee. And it's, you know, I think it just pertains to your bringing up. And, you know, women, if you're raised properly, women are going to treat their men good and as well as men will treat their women good. And I think um, when a man opens my door or was to buy me flowers. I think that makes them look attractive. You know, it's kind of. Well, what will make you look attractive? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> in regards to what? That's my point. Oh well, I mean, it, it pertains to the 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 evening. If we if we have to do special things to look attractive, and all you do is just sit there like a queen on her throne, Never. that's not very appealing to us. Well, then I can understand. But I'm someone that doesn't consider myself a queen on her. If you account. expect flowers bought for you and you expect doors open for you, I love that's it. exactly yes, I do. that's exactly what you are. No, for real? Well, I don't take that. Well, you know what? I mean, I don't take that like I want it all the time. But on a date, it is attractive. Well, it's again, I, it, it would be attractive if you did it for me, too. <sighs> but you wouldn't because you think you're a princess. No, I don't think I think I'm a prince. Wait, have you ever done these things for a man? No. No, I've done of course I've my not. own certain things for men in my like own what? way. Like in your own way. <laughs> like what? As a lady would do, or at least a woman would do. I what? Say. What have you done? Um, God, you know, I'm like on this, I don't know. I, I mean, it could be, you know, like somebody mentioned, you were mentioning earlier about a massage. I think mean, massages are great. Oh, well, uh, women love to uh, to get a man to do that. Uh, something no, for which woman to do the man. Oh, all right. Well, do you do them, though? Yes, I do. Yeah, Only to no, certain men. <laughs> Only to certain men. <laughs> you, you think you need a massage. Do talk. you agree with me <laughs> when, a, when a woman when a woman says, I'll have sex with you if we had to get him in that. No, don't you agree that's just a filibustering move? Definitely. Yeah. But I'm so not I, I always women. resolutely refuse it. I understand. I just, I just have to, I guess, learn. I guess I have a few more things to learn. But for me, I'm a woman that loves men, and I love when a man definitely knows how to treat a woman like a lady. We love it. But you don't have to be a queen bee. Well, what does that mean, treating a woman like a lady? Um, making her feel beautiful. Yeah. You know, making her... Um... Well, your self-esteem is, is, is called self-esteem for a reason. No, <laughs> yeah. If you well, don't I mean, feel beautiful, if you don't feel beautiful, what are we? What uh, buying buying you a sixty dollar bunch of flowers is going to make you feel beautiful? Uh, <laughs> One rose could feel beautiful. And fine. The point is, <laughs> pick wh- it up on the way. Why don't you feel beautiful going in? Well, I do, but I'm saying it's kind of nice to have that little special touch. And if anything, well, sure, it's nice if you're a woman, but for a man, it's just another obligation. Is it really? Of course. Not if he's attracted and likes that no, woman. No, no. Why, why is he going out with her? It's, it's a, because she wants to bone her. That's why. Yeah, but it takes two to bone each other. Correct? So? So? <laughs> why not make her feel a little extra something special? Why should she feel more special than we do? No, we, we you know, pertaining to the lady that we're just, you know, who it is, someone like myself, would um, definitely... Um, Make him as well feel so special. I don't know. I know you can say, well, what would that be? But but that's my point. Yeah, men are supposed to do extra things. 
and uh, that then, then make the woman feel special. But we are not supposed to feel special. Uh, we are merely, get, you're doing us a big favor by spreading your legs. And so we have to pay the, the toll. You're like the toll booth. We got to pay our way. Uh, it's, it's like fast pass. We got to pay our way through. <laughs> You know what's so funny is like, you know, I know some people, they say they, you know, they, uh, what, I've seen you one time on this talk show. I don't mean to go off on another sub- subject, but you know, it's like you're, you know, you, you have a handsome, I like your intelligence. You have a good mind, but you're a cocky little brat on this show. And I totally disagree. I think that maybe you've had some. Well, of course you disagree because women want to be treated special. But so do men. Yeah, but men don't get treated special. Men, not from we get sex. A bad woman, but we from get a good woman, no, most definitely. No, we generally don't. Well, maybe you've had bad women. I just think that you know you've got feminism. You've got equal pay for equal work. You uh, you have the right to uh, vote. You have the right to <laughs> do everything a man has a right to do. Yeah. And uh, so, therefore, uh, the, the the days of being Sir Walter Raleigh are over. But you know what's sad? It's like my day today. It's like I, you know, I'm a feminist in my own private sense, but it's like I know I can't do everything a man can do, and I don't want to, nor can a man do what a woman can do. It's like these women in the office who expect men to, like, uh, replace the water bottle, like the Arrowhead bottle. Yes. Uh, like, well, why should we do that? Because you're stronger. So what? Not our problem. You know what? <laughs> I, I, it's not on my job description. You know what? That's hilarious. But you are. I'll tell you what, if I'm boning you, maybe you could make a case. But if, if you're just the bitch who files complaints with HR all the time, I have no interest in helping you. Really? Right. Wow. Shame on you, Tom. Shame on me. <laughs> I guess nobody in your office asked you to. What uh, I really <laughs> love at the office is, you know, when everybody's got their cubicles, and they do this in offices all the time, they rearrange the cubicles. Yeah. Usually to squeeze more people in, and so you have to move from cubicle to cubicle. So you have to box up all the the coffee mugs and all the photos and everything you've been gathering on your desk, and you have to carry them to another location. <laughs> and and I love the women. Who, I can't lift. Can you help me lift this box? Is very heavy. Can you lift it? No. Well, what if she's asking you to lift it because she likes you in particular, and she's just trying to spend some time with you? Show me. Know. <laughs> show me the. Show me the boning, baby. Show me. Well, pick up the box, and maybe she will. No, no, no. <laughs> and the water bottle <laughs> with the flower. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. Hang on a second, uh, Lucy. Edgar, uh, what did you want to say to Lucy? Uh, quick quick question to her. Uh, you, you say you like to be treated nice, and you like guys to, you know, tell you nice things, right? Well, I mean, I don't need it, but it is nice when it's there, yeah. Okay, but do you really want a guy to tell you nice things or be honest to you? Like, I'm not going to tell you that you're so beautiful when you weigh, like, 500 pounds. I'm not going to tell you that you have eyes when you're cross-sighted and none of that stuff. Yeah, well, I mean, you know what? I think it's up to the person how you see themselves, you know? I mean, I would probably say good things to even someone that's ugly. We all like that. Well, then, then you're not being honest. You're not being honest. But I mean, and then that's you know what, what you want. A... You, you want honesty, then give honesty back. Yeah, but I mean, there's a time and place sometimes for that honesty. I could, you know, we could say, if your boss is a jerk, it's like, are we going to just say it right there in front of their face? Let's be honest, you know? Or it's like Why we not? sometimes Why pull you, around are you a kiss it. Kiss ass or what? Huh? Do what? Are you a kiss ass or what? Am I a kiss ass? Well, yeah, if it came to my job and I, and I thought my boss was an ass, unless he was disrespectful, then I would approach it. But I'm not going to always tell people, unless they, they totally offend me and get into my, you know, my space, then I have to, you know, deal with the situation. Honesty is definitely, I'm totally for honesty. But I just think sometimes, I mean, I'm not going to sit there and say yeah, someone that has a gross water on their face, going, wow, how long have you had that ward on your face? <laughs> You know, I just, I just think that's disrespectful. It's like common sense. That's what I think. I think a lot of people like common sense. So, so sorry, what were you saying? I stopped paying attention. I was looking at this beautiful girl passing by me. What was that again? <laughs> I am I, I, I'm serious. I'm sorry. I, I, I lost track. What were you saying? I can believe that. <laughs> Bottom line is, I think hey, women, Tom, I think a good woman deserves like There's so many beautiful girls right now getting out of work, man. You yeah, won't believe it. beautiful women, but... Really? You know, I mean, I've been told I'm beautiful, but it's like, if my inside... Because they want to get in your beauty, pants. Then I'm a thorn. That's the only reason. Huh? That's the only reason. Men tell girls that they're beautiful because, you know, like, hey. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> you keep looking uh, at those windows, honey. Simple as that, man. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> All right, I'm on my man. All right, Edgar, thank you very much. El Salvador chicken in there. <laughs> Tell you what. <laughs> By the way, if you need to buy anything, Edgar can sell it to you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. He's he's turning out to be one of my favorite callers lately. Tell you what. On a show where you never really develop favorite callers, he's pretty damn good. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. Caesar on the Tom like his show. Hello. How's it going, Tom? Great. But like the way I think about this subject is the problem is women need to figure out that they can't have their cake and eat it too. If you want to get treated like a man and be treated the same as me, well, guess what? I'm not going to pull out chairs for you. I'm not going to open doors for you. Why? Because I wouldn't do that to a man. Yes. If you're the weaker sex, as they used to call women, if you do not believe you are equal to a man, I will be more than happy to show my superiority and pull that chair out for you. But if you're going to be sitting there telling me how equal you are and complain about uh, men, forget it. That's like the, well, I saw pretty much what I told my girl right now when we first started dating. I told her, I can treat you like a man or I can be a gentleman. I ain't going to do both. You need to figure out what you want me to be, and I'll do it. I'm not going to make sure your feelings are spared or whatever. If you want to be treated one of the guys. If, like, your dress makes you look fat, guess what? I'm going to tell you, you look fat. Right. They're, if they want special treatment, then you have to acknowledge the fact that, okay, you're the man. By the way, I like to remind women from time to time, if you have to ask us if you look fat in that dress, you know you do. Exactly. So I, since since the guy you're with will not tell you the truth, I'm telling you the truth. That's so you do look fat in that dress. That simple. Caesar, thank you. One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how's it going? Great. I've been a very long time listener, it's like my fourth time or so calling. I just wanted to comment on the show today. Yes. Um, before I listened to you, Tom, I was a pussy. I was raised by my mother. I opened the doors and treated the girls out to dinner, paid for the movies. What a loser! I didn't get any tell. Well, after I started listening to you and uh, stopped opening those doors and stopped paying for the dinners and made them pay for the dinners, I got more tell than I could even handle. Let's see what I'm talking about. It works. So, Tom, uh, just want to thank you very much for all the lessons you've taught me. It really did help me out. In fact, it's really helped me out in the life, gave me some confidence and everything else to look forward to. Are you getting more ass than a toilet seat now? Tons more. I got some to spare. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, so I'm well. Thanks again, man. I'll be continue listening, and I'll be calling in again later. Can you take me out, uh, Kobe style? Of course I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Bobby is listening to us on the online stream from Seattle. On the Tom Like His Show, hello. How you doing, Tom? Doing okay, Bobby. Hey, you are the man. Thank you. <laughs> hey, I just want to let you know, last week I heard your show and a guy mentioned about the women in Seattle and the men. Yes. Man, these guys up here are so weak, it's pathetic. I know. Oh, I've seen it up close. I'm originally from L.A., but I, I'm retired military and I live in Seattle. Uh-huh. I'm not rich, but I'm well-to-do. Uh-huh. And uh, I go out, and I, I see these women, these, like you said, the fugly women, and these weak men bow down to them and kiss their butts. And I, I, did, what you, I did what you said on Like Us 101 about approaching women in bars. What do you do? Oh, well, you know, where you say get a table and just chill and just relax. Right. Uh, act like you're there to have fun by yourself. Don't uh, look like you're desperate to meet chicks. I was at a club a few weeks ago in uh, North Seattle, and I, I had a booth to myself, and I was just sitting there, just chilling, listening to the music, and this uh, good-looking chick came up to me and asked me, she said, why aren't you dancing? I said, because no one asked me. And she said, well, maybe the ladies are asking, waiting for you to ask them. And I said, well, I don't believe in chivalry, so that's not going to happen. So she said, well, you want to dance with me? So I said, no. <laughs> I love that. So she said, well, can I sit down with you? I said, you can sit down. 
So we sit, we sit down, talked here and there for a while. So then the waitress came over and asked, if I want to buy a drink for the lady. And I said, no, but she could buy me one. <laughs> I love that. And did she? Oh, she bought me a drink. She bought me a couple of drinks, actually. How great is that? Bobby, thank you for the call. The Tom Likas Show.